Welcome, everyone. It's your favorite president, Donald J. Trump, here. And today we're bringing you an incredible GTA adventure. It's going to be huge, absolutely tremendous. We're diving into some wild and crazy events in GTA 5. From surviving natural disasters to escaping intense situations, we've got it all covered for you. There are going to be so many disasters, almost like the presidential debate. Well, at least it won't be as much of a disaster as Donald's hair. That is pretty bad. Also, shout out to at Silver the Night Wolf, who says, first, lover videos, you guys are the best. Keep it up, y'all. Thanks for the comment. We love you, too. And you're right about something, Silver. Damn, are we the best. The very best. Well, actually, I'm the best. We all know that. Yeah, Donald, you and Joe are really the best, judging by the recent debate. Sure. Jokes aside, at least I know I can count on you guys in GTA. Also, leave a comment like this to get shouted out in our next video. Let's get into this crazy episode. This is unbelievable. First they steal the election, now they flood the roads. What's next? Donald, I don't think Mother Nature is part of any conspiracy. Hey, look, that building looks like a giant aquarium now. Cool, huh? But before we move on, guys, I must shout out Jaquasius Baker. What? Joe, setting the bar low is your specialty. Ice cream for a shout out? It's almost as creative as your campaign slogans. Well, Donald, it's not a beauty pageant, but sure, let's make ice cream diplomacy a thing. Maybe it'll distract people from your hair. Jaquasius Baker, I hope you're ready for a scoop that screams success. Gold flakes and all. My ice cream is like my hotels, luxurious, extravagant, and leaves you wondering why you spent so much. Ha 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 classic, huh? Well, I guess some things never change. Jaquasius Baker, get ready. By the way, if you're itching to support the channel, consider becoming a member. You'll snag some fantastic perks, including mystery custom stickers. Donald and I designed them for each other, and here's the kicker. Even we have no clue which stickers belong to whom. It's a sticker secret society in the making. That's right. Joining as a member not only supports the channel, but also unlocks these exclusive mysteries. Picture this, stickers crafted by me, Biden, and heck, even Obama jumped in on the fun. The designs are so top secret, not even the creators know who's behind what. Dive into the sticker enigma. Become a member today. <laughs> Good speech, Orange Man. Now let's move on. Barack, you probably could have stopped this with one of your drones, right? Or were they too busy spying on my campaign? Well, Donald, if I had a drone for every false claim, Shit, what the fuck? Did that asshole not see me? Ah, my hand! As I was saying, Donald, if I had a drone for every false claim you've made, we could have built a bridge over this water by now. You know, I once played a video game about building bridges, or was it about demolishing them anyway? It was fun. Great, we're stuck in a tsunami with a bozo who thinks life is a video game. Let's focus on finding a way out of here. Joe, any bright ideas? We could call for a boat. I know a guy, or was it a guy with a boat? Anyway, he's a guy, and there's a boat. Brilliant, Joe. Why don't you also call your imaginary friend to fly us out of here? Uh, uh, Trump boats don't fly. They sail, Trump. Oh, wow. Isn't that a shocker, Biden? Who knew? At least that fucked up small brain of yours can think, after all. At least he's trying to be helpful, Donald. Did I ask for any help? If I had built the wall, maybe the water wouldn't have gotten this far. We can't just sit here. Let's find a safer place. Joe, come on. Just give me a second. I think I see... No time for sightseeing, Barack. This isn't a vacation. Uh, Donald, you do realize you're leaving Barack behind, right? He's a big boy, Joe. He can take care of himself. Plus, he has his drones to keep him company. You know, he might actually enjoy the peace and quiet. Ooh, mm, Trump can wall stop water? I thought that was more of a damn thing. Joe, let's stick to reality, please. Look at this mess. I would have managed this tsunami like a business, efficiently and profitably. Hey, I just got a high score on my game. You think that's a good sign? We're in the middle of a crisis and your stupid old ass is just thinking fucking bitch ass game that I don't give goddamn about it. We need higher ground. The train tracks up there should be safe. Are you sure it's safe to drive on train tracks? Trust me, Joe, I've got this under control. Relax, Joe, what are the odds of a train coming right now? Do you see that train? What train? Ah! Uh... Joe, for heaven's sake, stop screaming in my ear. You're going to make me go fucking deaf. Sorry, Donald, but you have to admit that was pretty scary. Scary? Please, I've had tougher negotiations over golf course fees. That was nothing. Nothing? We almost became part of a train's grill and almost on our way to meet George Washington personally. You worry too much, Joe. It's just a little train. Besides, I've always said we need to modernize our rail system. This is just more proof. Donald, it's really dark in there. Are you sure you can see where you're going? Sleepy Joe, I don't need to see. I'm guided by my sharp instincts. They're the best instincts. Tremendous, really. Instincts, huh? I hope they come with night vision. 
Relax, Joe. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel, and if there isn't, I'll just claim there was and blame the media for not reporting it. Well, let's hope that light isn't another train coming our way. Hey, Donald, why do you think the town is flooded? You think it's because of a... What do they call it, a sushi, no, tsunami? No, Joe, it's because they decided to turn the town into a giant swimming pool. Of course, it's the tsunami. Joe, are you serious? We've been talking about a tsunami for the past hour. What did you think? They just turned on the world's biggest sprinkler system? Well, you know, I thought maybe it was an elaborate water show, you know, like the ones in Vegas. Yeah, Joe, the entire town decided to put on a water show just for us. Maybe they're celebrating my tremendous presidency. Right, right, a tsunami. I knew that. Just checking if you were paying attention. I'm beginning to think the real disaster is being stuck in this car with your so stupid brain. Hey, I'm just trying to lighten the mood, you know? Well, you're certainly doing a great job at that. I haven't laughed this much since I won the election. Which one, the first or the second? The first, obviously. The second was stolen. This car's as useless as a screen door on a submarine. We're going on foot. We'll find another car. On foot. Are you sure about this, Donald? Joe, always falling for anything. Ha <laughs> ha. First the election claims, now this. I guess I'm just used to it. Falling in poles, falling in drainages. Although I slipped, it's slippery. Watch and learn, Joe. This is how a real leader does it. No need for stairs or escalators here. Easy for you to say. You're all about the climb. Me, I prefer a more level approach. See? Pure capability. You could learn a thing or two from me, old Papa Joe. Look at that, Joe. I climbed out of there like a man half my age. Energy, that's what it takes. Not bad for a president, huh? Come on, Joe. You can do it. Imagine there's a crowd at the top waiting to cheer for you. That should give you some motivation. Energy, right? You do know you're not exactly a spring chicken yourself, Donald. Please, Joe. I'm like a fine wine. I get better with age. You, on the other hand, are more like... Well, let's just say you're 81. Age is just a number, Donald, and you're not that far behind me, you know? Ah, what the fuck? You are lucky I saved your ass from being beaten by woman. Yeah, whatever. Oh! Is that Obama over there? You, Hussein, get your black ass over here. Oh, shit, not again. A little help here. Get your dirty hands off Daddy O'Trump. Come on, bros, we need to get moving. Bros, and where exactly are we going, Donald? Where do you think, Joe? To a beach party? We're getting to safety before the tsunami decides to give us a personal visit. A beach party, huh? Sounds more fun than running from a tsunami. Yeah, a real blast. Now let's find a car that does not look like shit, and we get the fuck out of here. Get in the car, you two! Stop goofing around like a couple of sickos. We're wasting time. Unbelievable. I'm stuck in the middle of a disaster with Laurel and Hardy. If I had kids like this, I would have whooped their asses like nobody's business. Maturity, that's what they need. Not this, this circus. How did I end up here in the company of, of these two? It's like a bad sitcom. I bet I'm the most mature president of the three. Responsible, capable, and then there's Biden, who probably forgets his own name half the time. And Obama, well, he's better off, I guess. At least he remembers what he is doing, unlike sleepy fucking Joe over there. I should be leading this operation, commanding armies, making executive decisions, not babysitting former presidents in a tsunami. Get the fuck in, you two. Me and look at yourselves, what the fuck? All right, Donald, we're here. No need to get your tie in a twist. Yeah, Donald, you should try having a little fun once in a while. It's good for the soul. Fun? We're in the middle of a tsunami, and you two are playing tag. Let's just find a safe place before we end up on a real-life episode of Wipeout. You know, guys, I've actually missed... Oh, I'm sorry, Barack. I thought you were busy giving a speech to the water, trying to negotiate a truce with the tsunami. Yeah, Barack, you and your speeches? I bet even the tsunami would have paused to listen. Well, at least I can keep an audience captivated, unlike some people who just tweet their way through crises. Captivated or put to sleep? There's a fine line, Barack. So, Donald, now what? What's the grand plan? The plan? There's no plan for this kind of calamity, Barack. You can't control Mother Nature. She's like the media, unpredictable and always on the attack. That's deep, Donald. Did you come up with that all by yourself? Joe, I have depths you couldn't even fathom, like my understanding of, well, everything. Including climate change, right, Donald? Climate change, shmeemate change, it's just weather, it changes, that's what it does. And here I thought you were going to blame the Democrats for the tsunami. Don't tempt me, Joe. I'm sure somehow this is all part of a liberal agenda. Ah, the good old days. Blaming everything on the other side. I almost missed it. Almost, huh? Well, Barack, you're welcome. I'm here to bring a little excitement back into your life. Excitement, chaos, same thing in Trump's world. We need to check out the situation downtown. See the status down there. It's important to assess the damage. Agreed. It's crucial to understand the full impact of this disaster. I hope the people down there are okay. This tsunami has hit hard. They're fine, Joe. Americans are tough. They can handle a little water. A little water, Donald? This looks more like a scene from Waterworld. Well, if Kevin Costner can handle it, so can we. Maybe we'll find a floating city down here. 
You know, this isn't just some random event. This tsunami was triggered by a massive underwater earthquake. It's a significant geological phenomenon. I'm surprised you two aren't more informed about it. It's been all over the news. Don't you guys keep up with current events? Yes, I heard about it. The seismic activity must have been significant to trigger a tsunami of this magnitude. It An underwater earthquake, that's something you don't hear about every day. It's basic science, Joe. Tectonic plates shift, the ocean floor moves, and bam, you get a tsunami. It's a reminder of how interconnected our planet is. An event miles offshore can have huge impacts here. So it's like when you drop a stone in a pond, but on a much, much bigger scale. Exactly, Joe. Like a stone in a pond, but with more disaster. It's a sobering thought. The power of nature is truly beyond our control. Well, if I were still in charge, I'd have a plan for this. A big, beautiful plan. Would that plan involve building a wall to keep the water out, Donald? <laughs> you laugh, but it might just work. Better than doing nothing. Let's focus on the present. We need to help where we can and learn from this for the future. You know, guys, is there any way we could make money out of this tsunami? Like maybe start a surfing school? A surfing school? In the middle of a natural disaster? That's got to be the shittiest plan I've ever heard. Joe, I appreciate the entrepreneurial spirit, but I think our focus should be on survival not starting a business. Hey, I was just thinking outside the box, you know, making the best out of a bad situation. Yeah, Biden's tsunami surfing school. I can see it now. We'll make millions or, you know, drown trying. Maybe we can add a swim with the president's package. Exclusive offer, float through a disaster with former world leaders. Not a bad idea, Barack. We could even throw in some presidential swimming lessons. I bet people would pay top dollar for that. I can't believe I'm stuck in a tsunami with you two idiots. When we get out of this, remind me never to go into business with either of you. Oh, come on, Donald. It could be fun. We could even have matching swimsuits. Matching swimsuits, huh? Now that's a sight I'm sure the world would love to see. Donald, why did we leave the SUV? It was doing just fine. Because I want to, Barack. And when you're me, you can do whatever you want. That's a nice ride. Are we sure it's not, you know, someone else's? In times like these, Joe, it's finders keepers. Besides, I'm sure the owner would be honored to know their car helped save three former presidents. I'm not sure that's how the law works, dumbass. Well, if we get pulled over, we can always say we were commandeering it in the name of national security. Exactly, Joe. Presidential privilege. Now let's see what this baby can do. Can it go through a drive through I'm kind of hungry and I want some ice cream. I think we should have left Joe here. Sleepy Joe, you are such a disgrace of a president. That's what you're thinking about right now? Ice cream? When our country is about to get flooded by a tsunami? You're thinking about ice cream? Wow, bro, I'm speechless. Yeah, right, Donald. Like, it's my fault there is a tsunami in the city. What do you want me to do? Go and fight that tsunami or what? No, but can you at least even pretend like you care about this? Do I get money out of it? If the answer is no, then I don't care or wait. As a matter of fact, maybe I can somehow. Obama, do you hear this idiot? Donald, Joe's just trying to lighten the mood. We're all handling this stress differently. And what's wrong with ice cream? It's comfort food. In times like these, a little comfort goes a long way. Comfort food? We're in the middle of a natural disaster, Joe, not at a kid's birthday party. Well, Donald, sometimes a little humor and ice cream can be just what people need to get through tough times. Exactly. You know, I bet even a scoop of vanilla would put a smile on that grumpy face of yours, grumpy Trumpy. A scoop of vanilla? Sleepy Joe, you really are living in your own world. But fine, after we get to safety, we'll get you your ice cream. There you go, Joe. Ice cream as a reward after saving the world. Sounds like a fair deal. Now that's a motivation. Let's get this done and then hit the nearest ice cream shop. I have a question. What are we going to do? This tsunami might have damaged the property of millions of homes. I hope the citizens don't expect us to pay for this. If they start a protest or something, I'm running away with the Federal Reserve and I'm moving in Europe. I don't think you can just run away with that, but give it a try, and if you succeed, pass me a couple of billions. Don't be greedy, that's why the people hate you too. Neither of you cares about the well-being of the citizens, disgusting, and yeah, pass me a couple of billions too. If you pull that, I want to open a couple of more resorts around Miami. Enough about running away with billions. I've got a chopper waiting for us. We can circle around the city and assess the tsunami situation from above. A helicopter tour? That's a good idea. It'll give us a better perspective on the extent of the damage. A chopper ride? I haven't been in one of those since, well, since the last time I forgot my lunch at the White House. It's not a joyride, Joe. We're going to be doing some serious assessment. But don't worry, I'll make sure they have snacks on. Just make sure it's not just ice cream, Donald. Are you ready? The last one to get out is gay. Bye. Motherfucker. What? Oh, now that was fun. Haven't had a thrill like that in years. You have to keep things interesting. Life's too short for boring exits. Are you boys OK down there? Hurry up before I change my mind not to go with you.
fuck you, Donald. What were you thinking making us jump off a cliff like that? Yeah, you could have given us a little warning. I thought we were supposed to be working together, not auditioning for stunt doubles. Hey, I didn't tell you to jump off cliffs. I just made a quick exit. You guys decide to follow suit. A quick exit right off a moving vehicle. Only you, Donald, would think that's a good idea. Well, it was definitely quicker than taking the stairs, but next time, a little heads up would be nice. Where's the fun in that, Joe? You gotta keep things exciting. Besides, you both manage just fine. Now that we're in the helicopter, you guys should try jumping out without parachutes. Wait and see what happens. Donald, I think we've had enough of your extreme exit strategies for one day. Yeah, Donald, I like a good thrill, but I'm not exactly looking to test my luck with gravity today. I'm just saying it could be exciting. You never know until you try. I think I'll stick to the more traditional methods of transportation. Thank you very much. Besides, if we jumped out, who would be left to enjoy the ice cream? You and your ice cream, Joe. Maybe we can drop you off at an ice cream shop on the way. All right, gentlemen, we're up here because we need to find any survivors of this tsunami. The whole city's underwater. This is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. How are we supposed to find anyone in all this water? We have to try, Joe. There could be people out there needing our help. Keep your eyes peeled. Look at this, the entire downtown is submerged. It's like a scene out of a disaster movie. It's worse than any movie, Donald. This is real life. People's homes, their lives, all underwater. Oh, oh guys, I think we have a problem. What's the problem, Donald? Don't tell me you forgot to refuel the helicopter. Refuel? I didn't even think about that. I just borrowed this helicopter from some other guy. Borrowed? Donald, you can't just take things that aren't yours, especially not a helicopter. I'm starting to miss the days when our biggest problem was a birth certificate. Relax, Barack. What's the worst that could happen? We run out of fuel and get a little swimming lesson? Swimming lesson? I didn't sign up for this. I thought we were here to save people, not join them in the water. Well, Donald, looks like your art of the deal didn't include a chapter on helicopter maintenance. Hey, I'm a businessman, not a mechanic. Besides, I thought Joe here could sniff out a gas station from a mile away. Very funny, Donald. Next time, let's stick to cars, at least those I can handle. Do you hear yourself, Joe? A car? Oh, and where do you think it would have navigated in the tsunami? Or do you think it will just float in the air? Well, Donald, I'd say a boat would have been a more logical choice. You know, considering we're dealing with water, not a traffic jam. A boat, a kayak, a surfboard, pretty much anything that floats. Unlike this helicopter if we run out of fuel. Gentlemen, let's focus. We need to find a safe place to land before this becomes Air Force none. Don't worry, I've got this under control. Worst case scenario, we can always Trumpify the situation. Trumpify? Is that like declaring bankruptcy midair? Or maybe we can just Obamacare our way out of this. You know, hope for the best. Mayday, mayday, guys, we are going down. Uh... Great, just great. This is what happens when you borrow a helicopter without checking the fuel. Obama, Biden, where are you guys? Barack, Joe, can you hear me? This isn't funny, guys. Come on, show up. Of all the ridiculous situations, they better be okay. This is a disaster, a total disaster, and not the good kind that I can tweet about. I shouldn't have taken that helicopter. Why didn't I listen? Obama always had those smart remarks, but he was right. And Joe, with his gaffes, but he meant well. I can't believe they're gone. Okay, Donald, think. You need to get to a dry place, somewhere high up. Can't risk drowning or getting swept away by these waves. Barack, Joe, I, I didn't mean half the things I said. We were just supposed to have a bit of fun in this game, not, not this. I'm all alone in this. No Biden to argue with, no Obama to make fun of, just me and this huge wet mess. And then I said, your mom is a big ass hoe. <laughs> hmm, ha <laughs> ha. Great story, I guess. Anyway, just like I said, the mafia boss needs you right now. You better go if you want to keep your fingers intact in your body. Yeah, thanks, Carl, for the information. I better heat up the car now. Thanks for being there, man. I appreciate it. Anytime, Obama. Anytime. Don't forget to tell Michelle I said hi. Hey, Donald, have you seen this comment from KDog909 now? He's hoping we hit one million subs. Yeah, I saw that. One million, huh? Not bad. Not bad at all. It's amazing the support we're getting. People really seem to enjoy our banter. Well, we do have quite the dynamic, don't we? Absolutely, and it's all in good fun. You know, Joe, despite our differences, it's moments like these that remind me of the camaraderie we share. Couldn't agree more, Donald. We may not always see eye to eye, but at the end of the day, we're all in this together. Well said, Joe. Here's to reaching that one million mark and many more laughs along the way. Cheers to that, Donald, and a special shout out to KDog990 for the support. Let's make that one million dream a reality. Before we dive into the deep stuff, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring the bell. Now, about the mafia, what's your take on it? What was that? That was the most awkward interaction I saw. You're much worse than Sleepy Joe. I can't believe it. I'm just showing you what you look like whenever you start your conversation in mid-sentence. It's not pretty look at, right? I'm just making you taste your own medicine. 
Oh, now I'm the awkward one. You are the nun who just started to talk and change the topic to that person with no apparent reason, apparently. You were just yapping while he was getting uncomfortable. I was making a point. Is the point you're making is that you are an awkward and dumb person? Is that it? Because if that's the case, you are winning it. I'm talking about how you always start the conversation with your mid-sentence like you are in a sitcom. Sleepy Joe, notice it too, right, Sleepy Joe? What are we on a sitcom? Why didn't you guys tell me? I didn't get to brush my hair today. Wait, shoot me on my left side. That's my good side. No, we aren't in a sitcom. I'm just talking about the time we discussed how annoying Donald can be whenever he start his conversation mid-sentence. Oh yeah, right. You are indeed annoying when you do that. Like, what even are you doing? Are you trying to get on TV or something? Because if that's the case, then sign me up. I want to be in a sitcom also. Sleepy Joe, that is not the point. It's Donald's main character complex. He thinks the world revolves around him, which in fact does not revolve around him. First of all, Obama, you do not care if I start the conversation mid-sentence and I don't actually. I always start the conversation with a punchline to make your day great, but I guess you don't notice that because you are focusing on hating me more. You don't do that. You never do that. Can I finish? I'm not finished explaining my side. Sure, explain away. But I'm calling BS on whatever you are saying. And second, I don't have a main character complex. I'm not sorry that you guys think is the main character. I'm just that entertaining and also funny. That is just my natural self. Now that I think about it, I do have blonde hair and orange skin like the sun. So I'm not surprised that you think I'm the main character material. Okay, shut your pie hole. You're just boasting right now. Let me finish you jackass. Top 10 things Melania said during the wedding. You are just yapping and yapping. Everything you say doesn't even make sense. Let me finish. Can you just please let me finish? Can you, huh? That's what she said, Amir, right? Sure, go on ahead. Finish then. Top 10 things Michelle said on their wedding night. Thank you. Sheesh, is that hard to do? And finish. What the actual fuck? But he does have a point, though. He does look like the sun. Look, he is even rounder than the sun and more fat. I'm not surprised if one day you just start floating with your big head up in the sky. Now, you are just insulting me. I thought you wanted to be in a sitcom, Sleepy Joe. I might have to put you at the bottom of the list if you start acting that way. Just shut up, both of you, and go on with your best behavior. We are here. Stop talking about your sitcom, Donald. Where are we anyway, and why do we have to fetch this guy? Is he a bigwig or something? What? He has big wings. Is he perhaps related to Big Bird or something? I knew this neighborhood looked familiar. Is Elmo here? I am actually a big fan. Another day, another life to take. Finally, I get to be an important person for once. Move it, fatty. Get out of the way. Big Daddy is going to need your seat. I'm sorry you forgot that I am much more important to you, so get your fat ass out of my seat, you imbecile. You really have the guts to push me over. Get out of the seat, or I will shoot you. Shoot this motherfucker. Who is much more important now that you are dead? What the f Trump? Why didn't you just give him the seat? Now look at the mess you did. Good thing that he was just the brother of the Mafia's boss, but still, we are in a lot of trouble. I did not bring shit. He was the one who started it all. I was just trying to be nice, and then he just shot me. Oh, just great. Now they are calling for reinforcements. Way to go, Donald. Because of you not giving your seat, we have to deal with this bullshit. Wait a minute. Is this the person we are going to fetch? He doesn't look like he owns the Mafia, though we can still fetch to his destination. No, that person is the brother of the Mafia boss, and yes, the person we are going to fetch is a bigwig. He is actually a very important person, unlike you, Donald. He is the head of the Mafia, so whatever you do, just act nice. I don't really want any trouble. I think it's too late for that statement. People are already swarming in. Scratch that. Actually, when you say trouble, how much trouble do you tolerate just for reference? None. So don't cause any more scenes or else. I swear I'm going to bury both of you alive. Wait, why did I get dragged into this? Because you are part of the problem too, you idiot. You feed into his delusion of owning and directing a sitcom. So yes, you are part of this whether you like it or not. But I really need to be in his show. It's a great marketing strategy for people to like me better. I need the vote and appeal of the viewers. Whatever. Oh shit, what the f just happened? I thought I was gonna get burned alive. No, I'm too pretty to die like this. I haven't even had a Grammy Award. Grammy Awards are for music, stupid. It's the Oscars you wanna get, you know? Let us just get this whole shootout over with and just explain to the Mafia boss what really happened for us to end things quickly. I don't think that's how it works, Obama. How will you know? You don't even work for the Mafia. I'm sure the boss will understand why his brother and a couple of his henchmen are now lying on the floor dead. Oh, wait. I can't explain it because the real reason why all of this happened is because this stupid orange person wouldn't just give up his seat. This isn't about me right now, Obama. I think there is something fishy going on. Aren't you a bit suspicious as to why the brother was the one who entered the car and not the mafia boss?
Maybe he wanted to test drive us first before letting us drive him. I don't know. I don't think it's suspicious at all. I think Donald is right, Obama. I think there is more to this than a brother wanting to get in a car. I think there must be a conspiracy in all of this. Really now? A conspiracy. Do you think someone will go out of their way to sabotage me to do my job? They don't really have anything to gain but just dead bodies. Maybe. That is the point in all of this. They want someone dead. That is why they deliberately hire you. They know that employing you would lead to bloodshed. You really have to drink your meds, Sleepy Joe. You are literally yapping about things that don't make sense. Yeah, Sleepy Joe. Thanks for agreeing with me, Donald. No, I mean Sleepy Joe is right. Someone is really sabotaging us. What? Not you too. No one is sabotaging us. This is just Donald's fault. If he weren't so self-centered, then none of things would happen. You are the one to blame, Donald. The only thing that is to blame here is your driving. Can you not dive much faster? We are clearly on the run here, and you are taking your sweet damn time. I'm trying my fucking best, you asshole. Can't you just take accountability for this for once? That is why you are at the bottom of my list. You can't even take criticism for once. Where am I on the list? Just because you asked, I will put you also in the bottom of the list. Oh no, please, don't put me at the bottom of the list, Mr. Director, sir. I will do anything to be on the show. Please, I will even knock about out if you want to. Oh, so now you are willing to do anything. I don't know. You were being mean to me. You will have to do a couple of things for me in order to gain my trust and put you on the show. Anything. Mr. Director, sir, I will do anything. Please, I'm a star, I'm a star. Oh, come on, you don't believe this bullshit. There is no show, Sleepy Joe. Donald is just going to use you for his own gains. You are just setting yourself up with him. But what about the list? There is no list. He isn't even a director. There is no show. And everything that man says is completely bullshit. So don't listen to him. Just focus on these people. They are literally trying to kill us all. Isn't that much more important than the list? Says the person who is at the bottom of my list. I don't care about your list. You know what? Just remove me entirely from your made-up list. It's not even real anyway. I don't even care whether I'm in it or not. If you say so, just so you know, my sitcom would be a hit and you would be begging to be in it, but because of your behavior right now, you are out of my life and the list. Oh shit, everyone just hold on to your butts. Ah, I don't want to die yet. I haven't even given the basement boys some nourishment. They need me. Oh, we are actually fine. Thanks, Obama. Because of your shitty driving, I actually shit myself. That was you, I thought that was me. Wait, it was actually the both of us. That is really disgusting. Anyway, the mom. <laughs> Hey, Obama, are you okay? I think he is okay. How many fingers do I have? Can you deal with these people first? You guys aren't even helping me. You really are going to the bottom of the list. You can't even drive for sake. Wait, how about me? Am I going on the list? Did my name move? I don't fucking care. Sleepy Joe, don't listen to him. He is fucking delusional. I don't talk to people who aren't on the list. I'm sorry. It's not even real. Whatever. Just cooperate with me on this mission. Why would we listen to you person not on the list? Because I'm the one paying you guys to do the job. They already gave me the money, so if you don't act right, you won't get paid and I won't even give you a ride home. Fine. I'm writing you back on the list since you keep begging me. You are my friend after all. You are such a great friend, Donald. How come someone be so kind-hearted? Simping wouldn't get you on top of the list. Because of that, I will be lowering your rank a couple of numbers down. I'm sorry, Sleepy Joe. What? That is not fair. Can you drive slowly? Are you trying to kill us? We already finished all of the Mafia goons. I won't be driving slowly, thank you, and I am super pissed right now. I didn't even think, why are they shooting at me? I even had a concussion because of them, and now I can't even drive this car straight. Wait, are we sure we can let you drive? Don't worry. I still have my shit together, so yes. And even though I'm not in my right mind, I would still be doing the driving. Oh, wait, Obama. I think I have the reason why all of this is happening right now. I actually confronted one of the Mafia dude. I have to tell you, I had to punch the dude several times just to get the truth from him. It is actually very shocking, and I think you would really get shocked also. Just tell me already. You are making my head hurt. Okay, don't freak out, but all of this is orchestrated by the wife of the Mafia's boss. What? Why would she do that? It's actually very simple. She actually wanted the brother dead because the brother knew about her affair with one of the politicians they were dealing with. The brother wanted to tell the Mafia boss about it, but you know, spoiler alert, he is already dead. I killed him. So this shit is because she didn't want anyone to get in her way? Yeah, if the Mafia learned about it, she would get killed instantly and also the person she had an affair with, she actually loved the guy. I knew it. I knew there was something going on. I can smell the drama a mile away. That bitch. This mess is the reason we might get killed also. 
Where is she right now? Did they tell you where to find it here? Hold up! The Mafia is trying to kill us? Yes, dumbass. Haven't you noticed? They wanted revenge because we killed the brother. I mean, you did. It was an accident. I didn't mean to kill him. Yeah, but we also killed a couple of henchmen, so they aren't really keen on letting us go that easily way. Wait, do you have the evidence that all of this is true? Yes, I have it in a folder. Someone gave it to me while we were getting gunned down. I guess someone wants the wife dead also. Actually, hold up. Why is this my fault exactly? You were the one who accepted the job. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't be here. He's got a point, Obama. Why would you even get this job in the first place? You know that the mafia is really a risky job. There are danger in the uh, kind of job. They were paying me a huge sum of money. I can't help it. Just tell me where that bitch is, and I will be the one who's going to kill her. Wow, you are really out for blood. I'm not going to stop you anyway, so my intel told me that she was in a yacht. She's apparently living the life. Her Instagram caption told me so. Can I see her face? Wait, isn't that a dude? Dang, is she a transgender or something? I think she is in one of the ships here. I also learned that she liked eating strawberry shortcakes and her sister was supposed to marry the mafia boss, but she tried to seduce him. What? That's some telenovela type of shit. Did she really do that? Yeah, it's all in here in the file. I guess it all checks out. She did try and actually succeed in killing the mafia's brother, SP. I won't be too surprised if ever she did that. Caught you, you piece of shit. Don't you feel remorse that you are killing this woman just because you wanted to? Aren't you going to feel guilty that there will be blood in your hands? I don't really care about all that. What matters is that we find here and kill here immediately. I already informed the Mafia boss about what we are about to do about this hiccup, and he agreed to do so. There isn't really any guilt in there. Besides, she was the one who did this to herself. Karma is just about to get her. What? Why did he agree so easily? Doesn't he love his wife? Do you really think that someone with that face is lovable and couple it with that nasty attitude? I'm more shocked that no one wants her dead. Love isn't really what you go looking for when you are the boss of the Mafia. Loving someone is a weakness, and so they aren't going to love someone besides have you seen this person? She looks like shit. I will also kill this chick to find a more young and beautiful wife. Can you guys quiet down? I'm trying to shoot someone over here. I just need to angle this and bam. Who's the intelligent one now, bitch? Not you because you are dead. Ha 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 ha. Then why aren't you guys looking for a hot and young woman, though? Me and Jill are always on the lookout. She likes hot and young girls while I do the opposite. Let's fucking go and stop talking about disgusting things. I'm not going to specify what you mean by opposite, even though my curiosity is killing me. What do you mean by not looking for a hot woman? I am quite satisfied with my wife. She is very beautiful, and her radiance cannot be toppled by a mere girl only. I'm just asking, okay, no offense. You know what? Because of that, I am going to take you off the list this instant. You can't be serious. Why will you take me off the list because of that one? I didn't do anything wrong. I was just asking a question. Stop talking about the stupid list. Finally, we are free from the grasp of the mafia. We are now free man. Who wants a cheeseburger, my treat? I want some cheeseburger with the side of getting in the list. Gentlemen, Intel has just arrived a big one. It's hauling enough meth and coke to make Scarface blush. We're talking 3,352 pounds of methamphetamine and 66 kilos of the white stuff. Hey, Joe, got a special shout out here. Shout out to Ibrahim Lincoln 16 for the top five favorite presidents list. <laughs> well, that's an interesting top five. I see I didn't make the cut. You know, it's a solid list. Trump, 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 Trump. And of course, minus 69 for you, Joe. Looks like I've got some competition. Maybe I should work on my approval ratings. It's all in good fun, Joe. People have their preferences, but hey, at least you made the list, even if it's in the negative. Ah, anyway, thanks for your support, guys. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and here's a fun challenge for you. If Donald Trump and Joe Biden had a friendly competition, what kind of contest or game do you think they should go head to head in? Pure, uncut, and just begging for us to snatch it. That's a lot of candy. Where's this train headed? A train heist, huh? Reminds me of an old movie. But let's be clear, if we're doing this, we're doing it smart. No loose ends. Biden, I think you did not hear me carefully. This is not a heist. I know Biden. You are excited that we are going to stop a train that is carrying a whole lot of the white stuff. But you are mistaken that if this is a heist, I cannot allow you to take any of it so you can consume it or take some to Hunter. I am going to destroy it all. Hey. At least let's not destroy all of it. We can take some to the DEA and we can show to them as proof that they deserve presidents like us who get out from their comfort zone and deal the matter by themselves. Yeah, no, I am not doing that. Biden plus DEA are also corrupt and there is no use of taking the sugar to them. And I know, Biden, you will make yourself and Hunter rich by selling that Coke. So no, I am not giving it to you. But what's the plan for stopping a freight train? You can't just ask it politely to stop. 
I could try waving at it. Worked in the Senate. Cute, Joe. Real cute. But we're going to need something with a bit more oomph. All right, listen up. We're going to stop the train by piling up cars on the tracks. A whole bunch of them. Cars? As in actual cars? You think that'll stop a train? Trump, you're crazier than a bag of raccoons, but I like it. How many cars are we talking? As many as we can get our hands on before it gets here. We need a blockade that even a monster of a train can't plow through. Well, we're not exactly going to ask for volunteers. We'll borrow them. Borrowing cars, huh? Just another Tuesday for us. Here's the kicker. We'll stop the cars right there at the crossing. Anyone who resists, well, they won't see what's coming, and they'll have to deal with me. All right, but we got to be quick about it. I think we don't have much time before the train gets here. Okay, get those drivers' attention. I have to admit, this isn't exactly how I pictured my post-presidency life, but let's do this. I've got my club. Haven't swung one of these since my golfing days. Hope I still got the moves. Sorry, pal. This crossing is under new management. You're going to want to turn around. Gentlemen, we don't want any trouble. We just need your cars. Yeah, Scoot, make way for the ice cream express. I can feel it, boys. The train's close. It's almost showtime. You really think this will work? It's a train trump, not a toy car. Those two trailer trucks in the Humvee we placed there, they'll do the job. That train won't know what hit it. I always liked trains. Choo-choo. But I've never seen one hit a Humvee before. Trust me, it will. That train's carrying a fortune, and it's not going to slip through our fingers. Hey, you two paramedics, you might want to get the fuck out of there before you are a pile of flesh and bones. Here it comes. Get ready, boys. This is what we've been waiting for. Everyone stay sharp. If this goes sideways, we need to be ready to move fast. Sideways, backwards, forwards. As long as it's not upside down, I'm ready. What? What the fuck just happened? Hey, stop, you oversized tin can. Well, that didn't go as planned. Physics won Trump zero. There it goes. The world's fastest ice cream truck. Watch out, Trump. <sighs> Booch! That looked like it hurt. Quick, we can't let that train get away. We need to go after it now. We need wheels and fast. Let's find a vehicle that's still in one piece. How about that one? Yeah, that one is perfect. And where the heck is Obama? I don't know. He's not my fucking Move wife, out, son. Bro. Biden, please sit at the back. You know why. You wait up. You want to leave me, man. Where the fuck were you, Obama? Don't mind me. In hindsight, maybe we underestimated the kinetic energy of a multi-ton freight train. Kinetic energy? That sounds like a band I would have listened to in the 70s. This is a disaster, a complete and total disaster. I had plans for that train. All right, let's think this through. We need a new plan and fast. That train isn't stopping anytime soon. Maybe we can catch it at the next crossing? I've still got some fight in me, and I really wanted that ice cream. Next crossing. Yes, we're going to intercept that train if it's the last thing we do. This isn't over yet. Agreed. But this time, let's try a plan that involves less destruction. And more ice cream. Don't forget the ice cream. That train's long gone. We need to head back and set up for the next one. There's always another train. We just got our butts handed to us by a train. You look like a butt. Oh, great. So we just camp out and wait for Train the sequel? How sure are we that the next one's carrying anything interesting? Got a crystal ball or something? No crystal ball needed. I've got ears, eyes, and noses all over the place. I have people for this kind of information. The best people. They sniff out contraband like it's, well, like it's their job. Noses all over sounds messy. You sure they're not just smelling fast food? Very funny, Joe, but trust me, if there's something to be found, my guys will find it. They're like bloodhounds, but with less drooling. Bloodhounds with a sense of fashion, I hope. We can't be doing business with any old riffraff. Do these bloodhound people like ice cream? I could go for some right now. Focus, Sleepy Joe. This isn't a dessert run. It's high stakes, high reward. The next train could be our ticket to the big leagues. Man, we're one clown car short of a circus. Here we are, boys. Remember, if anyone tries to stop us, we stop them first. You got a problem, young man? Consider this a civic duty. We're requisitioning your car for national security. Think of it as an executive order, but more hands-on. Deal with that one, Biden. I'm sure you are tougher than him. What in tarnation is going on here? We're upgrading our transportation. Your truck is being volunteered for the cause. We appreciate your understanding in these unusual circumstances. Nice SUV. You ever haul ice cream in this thing? Oh, oh, looks like Mr. Hippo here has a problem. Stay down, bro. Donald, I think this might be your other brother, Donut Crump. Get it. You know, because he's all fat and orangey like you. Shut up, Joseph. You see, you are the reason I am working more than the DEA working against drug abuse. Hey, what the fuck, Puda? Don't you know who I am? We need your car. It's for scientific research. Yeah, we're testing the durability of your car against a train. Don't these people understand? We're doing this for their own good, protecting them from drugs and drug-using people like Biden. Hey, I only use ice cream. Thank you very much. Well, not everyone sees the heroism in hijacking their cars for a clandestine operation, Donald. 
They should be thanking us. We're like the Avengers, but with more political experience and less spandex. Avengers, huh? Can I be the one with the hammer? What's his name, Thor? It's Thor, Joe, and I think we're a bit off script from a typical superhero story. Is this a joke? That's my car, man. No joke, mister. We need your car. It's a matter of national. Let's call it a special project. Your cooperation is essential to our very unconventional task. Compact and efficient. Reminds me of the good old days in Delaware. So, Joe, for now, stick with the baseball bat that's in your hand. This is bigger than a script, Barack. This is about stopping a train filled with contraband. We're taking a stand. Yeah, and maybe after we save the day, they'll throw us a parade with ice cream. Let's focus on stopping the train first. Parades and ice cream can wait. Brace yourselves, boys. That train's coming in hot. Here goes nothing. Can you believe this? Twice. It's like trying to stop a bullet with a paper towel. Well, there goes plan B, or was that plan C? I've lost count. We're on plan. We're screwed now. We're not giving up. This train has met its match. Yeah, a match that's already been burnt twice. Haha. <laughs> you sure we can catch up, Trump? That train's not exactly taking a Sunday stroll. We've got speed and desperation on our side. Great combo. Add insanity to the mix and we're golden. Well, as they say, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Maybe third time's the charm? Or maybe we need a bigger boat or train or whatever we're stopping. We don't need a bigger anything, Sleepy Joe. We need a better plan. I'm a man of action, not a man of waiting around. Action is good, but only if it's accompanied by a little thing called strategy. How about we try using our brains instead of brute force? Brains, huh? Like a brain freeze? I get those from eating ice cream too fast. Enough about ice cream, Joe. We're in a high-speed chase, not at a county fair. Watch this, boys. It's gonna be like something out of a 007 movie. You're about to see some real action. Holy moly, Trump. That was... that was like something out of a movie. I can't believe that actually worked. That was one in a million. Of course it worked. I have the best aim, the deadliest shot. Did you see that? Pure skill. I'm amazing, truly. I got to hand it to you. That was impressive, like a sharpshooting cowboy in one of those old westerns. Well, let's not get carried away. We're not exactly in a western here, but yes, that was unexpectedly effective. Unexpectedly? I knew exactly what I was doing. I'm always on target, whether it's business, politics, or high-speed train pursuits. Oh, what are you trying to do, Trump? I'm trying to see if by doing this, the train is going to stop. This train is like a runaway bull. I thought for sure that would do it. It seems this train is more stubborn than we anticipated. We need another approach and fast. We need something drastic. Drastic but calculate. What about creating a barrier on the tracks further ahead? We already tried cars and that was a bust. I have a better idea. Follow me, guys. That was easier than I thought. Should have done this from the start. All right, Trumpy, time to shine. Who needs a blockade when you've got good old-fashioned agility? And now for the Tunnel of Doom. Great. Why do these things always have to be so dark and tunnely? I need to reach the front carriage now and try to get a hold of this train. Oh, wow, I'm so smart. I bet that's what Obama and Biden are telling themselves in their old heads. You know, in all my years in politics, I never thought I'd be train hopping in a dark tunnel. This is some James Bond-level stuff, man. More like Trump Bond. Wait. That doesn't sound right. Welcome to Trump's wild ride, Barack. Did you miss the memo about the action hero part? Who made it. So now what, Trump Bond? You got us on this wild ride. We can't exactly conduct a board meeting on a moving train. Look at us, a bunch of political action heroes. I knew you guys had it in you. This is what real leadership looks like. Real leadership, huh? Here I was thinking it looked more like three guys way out of their depth on a speeding train. Depth, heights, speeds. This is turning into a real adventure. Reminds me of that movie with the big boat, Titanic, was it? This isn't the Titanic, Joe, and I'm no Leonardo DiCaprio. We're going to succeed where they, well, sank. All right, boys, I've got control of this metal beast. What's the next brilliant step in our master plan? You're asking now? Shouldn't you have thought of that before playing train conductor? I'm improvising, Hussein. It's an art form. More like an art of disaster. Here's a thought. Make the train go so fast it derails. Poetic, isn't it? Poetic? That's a one-way ticket to catastrophe. Derail, huh? That's kind of like stopping it permanently. Exactly. Think about it, Trump. Full speed ahead, then boom, the grand finale. This is not a fireworks show, Obama. It's a high-speed train. High-speed, high stakes. It's got a certain charm. Charm? I call it lunacy. Trump, think of the consequences. Consequences? Obama, we are near to the station. Biden's got a point. We're not exactly playing it safe here. There's not safe. And then there's completely insane. Come on, Obama. Where's your sense of adventure? My sense of adventure doesn't include a train wreck, literally. I say we vote. All in favor of the full speed derail plan? Aye, for excitement and chaos. I'm surrounded by madmen. Fine, aye. But if we survive, I'm choosing the next plan. 
That's the spirit derailing in three, two. Wait, wait, are we sure about this? You got cold feet now after all the crazy stuff we've done? It's too late for cold feet, it's go time. I'm more concerned about our heads than our feet, to be honest. Relax, we've got this. I read about train derailing in a book once. Oh great, he read a book, we're saved. Was it train derailing for dummies? Very funny, no it was a thriller, but close enough. We're basing our plan on a thriller novel now, fantastic. Trump, just make sure we have an exit strategy. Exit strategy, we'll jump like action heroes. Jumping off a speeding train, why didn't I think of that? Because you're the only sane one among us, Mr. Two Goody Two Shoes. Sane is boring. Hold on to your hats, gentlemen. We're about to make history. Or become a cautionary tale? To insanity and beyond. Wait, why isn't anything happening? Shouldn't there be some dramatic shaking or something? Joe, it's not like there's a big red button marked derail train. This isn't a cartoon. Exactly. Derailing a train is a matter of physics. We need maximum speed and a sharp corner. That's when the real action happens. Physics, huh? I always like science. It's like magic, but with more numbers. All right, brace yourselves. This is where things get tricky. Remember, we need to be ready to move as soon as the train starts to derail. Ready to move, got it? It's like dance class all over again. Step to the left, now jump. How are you boys doing back there? Ready for the ride of your lives? As ready as one can be for an unplanned train derailment. Just remember, we're aiming for success, not infamy. I'm hanging in there. Feels like a roller coaster without the seat belts, and I like roller coasters. That's the spirit, Joe. We're making history here. This is going to be one for the books. Let's just hope it's not a history lesson on what not to do. Remember, safety first. Safety and ice cream, that's my motto. Well, one of my mottos. Forget ice cream, Joe. Focus. We're about to hit the big moment. Are you both braced for impact? Braced and ready. Just like in the Situation Room, only with more potential for getting thrown around. Thrown around, huh? I haven't been thrown around since my last game of tag with my grandkids. This isn't tag, Joe. It's more like extreme chess, and I'm about to make the checkmate move. Chess now? Just remember, every move has consequences. Let's aim for checkmate without toppling the king. Or losing the rooks. I always liked the rooks, sturdy little guys. Rooks, kings, it doesn't matter. We're the masters of this game. Hold on, gentlemen, we're approaching the corner. This is where it all happens. That's how you make a statement. Nobody messes with America. I'm the man who stopped a train who put those cartels on notice. This is huge, the biggest ever. They thought they could outsmart us, bring their drugs into our country. Well, they underestimated Donald J. Trump. I'm just getting warmed up. This train derailment is just the start. I'll take down every cartel one by one. Gentlemen, we did it. We took down the train. This is a huge victory. We're giving those cartels what they deserve. Well, we stopped the train, that's for sure. But let's keep things in perspective. This is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. When it comes to protecting America, I'm the best there is. Vote for me, 2024. No, no, not the custard. Don't eat the custard. It doesn't even belong to that hot dog. Don't put it on my foot. No, I don't want custard foot. I want a normal custard. Don't you dare put that on a hot dog, you filthy scum of the earth. Honey, you're sleep talking again. Wake up. I'm trying to have a relaxing afternoon with our gardener, Eduardo. Hey, Joe, have you seen this comment from Amogaspin on our latest video? No, what does it say? It's wild, Joe. Amogaspin says they had a dream where we were all in prison together. And get this, you were accused of stealing all the ice cream from a store. Well, that's a new one. I promise I'm not a dessert bandit, but I'll take it as a compliment to my taste in sweets. It's all in good fun, Joe. People come up with the craziest dreams sometimes. But hey, at least we're all hanging out together, even in their subconscious. Absolutely, Don. It's all part of the fun of being in the public eye. And hey, if I ever need a partner in crime for an ice cream heist, I'll know who to call. Ha 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 ha. Count me in, Joe. Just make sure to leave some flavors for the rest of us next time. Now, guys, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more content, and join our Discord community for even more fun discussions. No, not the mayonnaise. That doesn't even go there. How dare you put the mayonnaise in there? I'm not tolerating this abomination you call food. This isn't even art, you dingus. Honey, wake up. Wake up, you sleepyhead. Come on, stop with your silly dreams. I'm gonna get you, huh? Am I dreaming? Where's the muffin man? Why am I in this ugly ass home? Oh wait, this is my home. Honey, are you awake? You had a nightmare, dear. You just had a nightmare. You should try to relax and compose yourself. Like Dr. Armani said, keep your head cool. Oh damn, that was all a dream. Maybe I should dream more, it's kind of fun. Anyway, I'm going to try to remember everything and put it in a dream journal like our therapist said, I should really try and journal more. Okay, honey, you should drink water before you do anything excessive like using your brain. Don't use your brain too much. Okay, honey, gosh, I would never know what I would do without that one. Honey, what did I tell you about drinking wine in the middle of the day? You shouldn't be doing that. Your organs isn't what they used to be anymore. 
I'm fine, honey. Cough. Look, I don't even cough blood anymore. Oh, wait, I did, or maybe that's the wine. Either way, I am fine. Gosh, what a lovely day. I hope it doesn't get ruined by a phone call. Speaking of phone calls, someone is calling. Moshi Moshi, Anata Wadar Desuka. Uh, Mochi? Who the fuck are you? Where the fuck is Joe Biden? I need to get to him right now. I'm no racist, but from the tone of your voice, I know you have a small dick. It's me, Peter. Why are you calling me? Oh, thank God, Joe. I need you to listen to this carefully. You better sit back, Joe, because this news would blow your mind, and it is not the good kind. What is it? Tell me. There has been a shortage of ice cream. Oh, my God. I don't know about you, but today is kind of the best day ever. I'm not kidding. Actually, now that you said it, it does feel like it. I'm not sure if it's the sun or the clouds or because we're here at the beach. I feel like I've lost weight behind my back. Is someone missing? Actually, don't ask for that because I don't care. That's what I also feel like. Maybe the reason why we forgot about it is because it wasn't important at all. I sure hope that this day won't get ruined by anyone. I think I just jinxed it. Boys, I need your help. Get into my car right fucking now. Come on. Wait, aren't you a friend of Joe's? I get it now. The reason why we are so relaxed is because Joe isn't here to ruin our day until this fat pig arrives. I'm sorry, but we won't be doing that. Get lost, piggy. We have enough fat dudes to feed. You have to come with me. I will explain everything on the road. Come on, we have to hurry. Fine, fine, we'll go with you. Didn't your mother teach you to not go in a stranger's car? My mother taught me that I shouldn't be friends with colored folks. I think it's fine that I pass her judgment on this one. Mothers aren't always right, you know. What kind of mother do you even have? Not gonna lie here, but that's really f***ed up, Donald. What kind of mother would say that to a child? I don't even want to know, actually, because it is really messed up. A mother that cares, that's who. Worry about your own problems, fatty. Didn't your mother teach you to chew your own food properly? I guess she didn't, because look how fat you are. Listen here, you schmuck. You are as fat as me. Hell, you're fatter than me, you scumbag. So don't you dare call me fat. Are you here to just insult me, or do you just want someone to insult the heck out of you? I will give it to you. I will even give it to you right now. Why don't you try and be a better driver, fatty fingers? Shut up, pig. Don't you dare call me that, or else I will show you what a bigger pig I am. Someone really need to put you in your place. Can you guys stop mentioning how fat you both are and focus on what we are here at the moment? Jesus, it's like I'm babysitting preschoolers. Mind you, preschoolers behave much better than both of you combined. I will stop if Mr. Orange President stops flapping his butt cheeks. My butt cheeks are smoother than your face, pighead. Donald, can you please? We are trying to do something here. Fine, but I only stop because I'm sick and tired of talking to this idiot that I just want for whatever is happening to get it over with. Thank you. Now, is that too hard to do? Anyway, stranger who I don't know the name of, please continue. What is your name again? Hello, my name is Peter Griffin, by the way, Mr. President. I actually voted for you, and I think you were one of the great presidents of the United States of America. Uh, thank you. But I just wanted you to tell me why you kidnapped us from our wonderful vacation, which we were enjoying and wouldn't miss it for the world. I hope your reasons are valid. Oh, Mr. President, sir, my reasons are very valid. I have devastating news for both of you. I actually already told Sleepy Joe about it, and we are going right now to his house. We are almost there. Just tell us what the bad news is. Did the alien attack us again? I thought we already had too many alien videos in our channel. People do like it a lot, I tell you. No, it is much worse than that. D'Angelo's ice creams are now out of stock. Excuse me, the what now? D'Angelo's ice cream, the super creamy and delicious D'Angelo's ice cream. Even Turkish vendors agreed that it was the best ice cream they ever flipped. People go wild for that. It's a worldwide epidemic. Wait, so you're doing this because some ice cream company is out of stock? It's not just some company. D'Angelo's is me and Sleepy Joe's favorite ice cream brand. People go wild for this brand of ice cream. We tend to have exquisite taste, might I add. That's it. That's your problem? This is the reason why we are getting dragged away from the beach? It's a worldwide problem. D'Angelo's never had this problem even before the cow crisis back in the 80s. This is what I call an apocalyptic chain event when I see one. I will let Sleepy Joe tell you the rest. My amigo, come in, come in. It's good to see you. How are the kids? I hope Luis is doing well. Is she still married? We are doing fine. I still haven't told them about the crisis, but I know we would be able to solve this. And Luis is still married, sir, to me. Thanks, Pete. This means a lot to me, and I hope you and Luis have a great marriage, finger crossed. So, guys, where do we begin? By now, you all know who my friend Griffin is and why we are all gathered here. I still have no 
fucking clue why we are here instead of getting a tan in the beach. Easy now, Donald. I know you are upset, but we will get through this. D'Angelo's is just not an ICCE cream brand, but a legacy that we want to pass through our children's children. I know this is upsetting, but we need to have faith that we can solve this. I'm sorry, everyone. I just get too emotional when I think about the outcome of what might happen if we don't find a solution to avert this crisis. I need to call someone. I think I know who did this. I hope he answers. What outcome? That for once you will lose body fat? Before I answer that question, let me get this real quick. Hello, are you Gio Garnavalinci? Yes, yes, I am actually here to ask you about the D'Angelo's ice cream trucks. How did I know? Let's say that a little birdie told me. Oh, no, it's not a bird. I mean, someone told me about it. So are you free row make a deal? Who are you even talking to? Could you shush? Oh, no, I'm not shushing you. So are we ready to make the deal? I will give a million dollars for one ice cream cart. Is that a deal? Are we really making a deal now? OK, I will come right away. OK, bye bye. I love you. Oh, wait, silly me. Ha 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 ha. Hang up. OK, got to go. Care to explain what's going on? OK, where are we? Oh, right. Apocalyptic event. No, ignorant fool. The crisis that we would be facing would be much worse. I don't want to scare you, but this might be the reason for an apocalyptic event. How can an ice cream brand cause an apocalyptic event? Well, two airplanes almost caused a war, so I wouldn't really think that much. Besides, this is D'Angelo's we are talking about. People live for that kind of ice cream if they learned that there would be no more of that. It will cause havoc, I assure you. Yeah, like what you are doing right now. You are causing havoc during our vacation. We should be lying on the beach right now. Instead, we are doing this. Why are we even here? I don't even know what's going the fuck on. Just get in the car and I will explain it while we are driving. We are driving again? Can we just go back to the beach and forget everything happened? It's just ice cream. We can make one if you like. There are many tutorials on YouTube about it. Donald is right, Mr. Griffin. Shouldn't they just solve it with milk or cow? I mean, it's just an ice cream brand. There isn't much to it. That isn't the point. We can never recreate D'Angelo's ice cream even if we wanted to. Let me explain it to them, Peter. They are a bit slow. They wouldn't understand it no matter how hard we try. We need to dumb it down for them. I can't believe that you are calling us slow. OK, first things first. We are in a crisis, and we have to get the ice cream truck back before it's too late. Gio Garnavalinci was the reason for all of this. He took all the truck and store it away, where he would be the only person who would sell it. That good for nothing, Gio. I knew he was behind all of this. I contacted him to buy one of the trucks for a million, and right now we are meeting him at a very discreet location. Once we were there, I and Peter would talk to Gio about the deal. He would show us where he put the tux, and that's where Obama and Donald come in. Oh, we have a part in this. You didn't even ask us whether we wanted to join you in your silly conquest, which we don't, by the way. Just let us slide, Donald. He is starting to get delirious again. The doctor said that we should tolerate him when this happens. I don't think it's right to object. Then why are we tolerating the other guy also? Just do what they want and let's get this over with. We are almost there. Just remember to stick with the plan. I hope you know your roles already. We got this. The fate of the universe depends on us. I'm scared. What if he sees right through us and we never get to taste that very angelic Dianello's ice cream? I don't think I could live with that. <laughs> Snap out of it. We can do this. Our plan will work. I just know it. And besides, Gio is not exactly the intelligent type. So maybe, you know, this might be just a piece of cake. I really want a piece of cake right about now. Just relax and let me do the talking. Well, hello, hello. Look what we have here. Well, it isn't Mr. President himself. You didn't bring your guards, I guess. Well, you wouldn't need them anyway. Let's get this over with. Where are the goods? Easy there, Tiger. Let me see first if you have the money. Oh, I have the money, but let me see the trucks first before I call and shut this operation down. Do you want me to shut this down? We all know you wouldn't do that. Fine here. Happy? Great. Follow me and I will lead the way. Get ready to get your minds blown. Please stop yourself from drooling. I don't want your gross DNA all over the franchise. We won't. We aren't amateurs. We know what we are dealing with, so just lead us to it and get this over quickly. I don't have all day unless it is really far away. I'm not judging. I am just reminding both of you, we are here. Welcome to my wonderful Emporium. It's magnificent, isn't it? It's like I'm looking at heaven. They are so beautiful. I can't believe my eyes. No, seriously, am I in heaven? Buddy, I am just getting started. This isn't even the beginning of my master plan. Want me to tell to you? Remind me again why we have to go with the plan and not just drive to the beach while we still can. We can just leave them behind, you know. Because it's too late to go back now and we promised Joe we would do it. Besides, Jill would kill us. 
I didn't promise him anything. I didn't even agree with anything he said about that ridiculous crisis he was talking about. That man is crazy. Do you think it's the dementia talking? This guy is really nuts whenever he doesn't take his pills. Perhaps, look, you can whine all you want, but let's just get this done and call it a day. Fine, let's just get this over and maybe we could have a little ice cream once it's done. We have to be extra careful though. Not to alert them, it wouldn't be pretty if they knew we were coming. I don't want to get my suit all bloody. Michelle would nag me until my ears bleed. Yeah, yeah, I know how to be sneaky. You don't have to tell it to me, so that's Geo. Too bad he's going to die. Well, at least he is dying in front of the things he loved, which is money and a bunch of ice cream truck. We did it, guys. We have officially averted a crisis, and now we can finally eat all the ice cream we want. This is the ultimate win-win situation. What are we waiting for? Get in the trucks. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. We finally did it. This is the best day ever. I can finally see my family again. I can finally eat all the ice cream I want. Nobody is stopping you from seeing your family, Peter. You can see them anytime. Nothing else keeping you away from them. You guys are really bonkers towards this ice cream brand. It's not that even good. It's like mid-tier or lower. DQ has much better ice cream than this shit. You really need to go and trash some grass more. Thank you, guys. Without you, we wouldn't save the universe from this catastrophic crisis. We did great, everyone. Are they high or something? Just don't question it. Let's just get out and celebrate this to the beach. Folks, listen here. I've got a tip from the Secret Service about a place so secretive, even Area 51 says, whoa, that's too much for us. We're talking about a lab out in the desert doing the kind of experiments that make Frankenstein look like a high school science project. Now we shut this down. I'll be the hero. Imagine the headlines. Biden saves America again. It's gonna look great on the resume for presidency 2024. Hey there, Sleepy Joe. What's got you all fired up today? Oh, hey Donnie, just checking out some comments on our latest video. You won't believe what I found. What's that? Check this out. This viewer, the Dark Tiger 666, left a comment saying, "The consistency with which you upload videos is incredible. I hope that in the future you can do a mini series hunting creepy pastas in GTA 5. Keep up the good work, 3." Well, I'll be darned. Looks like we've got some real fans out there. Absolutely. It's comments like these that make it all worth it. I mean, who wouldn't want to hunt creepypastas in GTA V? Sounds like a blast. You know what, Joe? I think we should seriously consider it. Sounds like something our audience would love. Couldn't agree more, Donnie. Let's give a shout out to the Dark Tiger 666 for the awesome suggestion. Thanks for the support, buddy. All right, team, this is it. The belly of the beast, or in this case, the lab of the loony. We've got agents crawling all over the place like lobbyists on Capitol Hill. Remember diplomacy first? We can't just drone strike our way out of this one. Diplomacy? I was thinking more along the lines of the Apprentice Desert Storm Edition. You're fired and you're fired. Everybody's fired. Shut. Shut that fat mouth, Trump. We don't want them hearing our plans. Hello, good men and Biden. This is Obama and Trump. And yeah, I know you have a good idea we are. Say hello to my fist too, bro. Joe, what in the Constitution are you doing? I thought we were going to make deals, not war. What happened to talking them into submission? Sometimes to cook up something good, you've got to crack a couple of balls, or in this case, break a few secret labs to save the day. This is definitely not how we did things in the Situation Room. Let's make this quick. I have a golf game to get back to. Joe, what was the grand strategy behind that little display of fireworks? Simple, Barack. We needed their ride. This isn't just any SUV. It's our golden ticket into the SCP lab, which is trademarked as Humane Labs. We will get in like undercover agents, get it? And for those of us who haven't spent our retirement playing conspiracy theorist bingo, what's an SCP lab? You don't know? I thought you knew everything, Barack. Next, you'll tell us you don't know about Area 52. Enough ribbing. The SCP Foundation is like the men in black, but for things that go bump in the night. They're the reason your evening news is boring, Barack. No alien invasions or zombie outbreaks on their watch. So, we're breaking into a facility that handles threats to global security on a daily basis. What could possibly go wrong? I mean... With my negotiation skills, we could probably get a monster or two on our side. Imagine the headlines. Let's focus on getting in and out without becoming part of the SCP catalog. I'd rather not be remembered as Subject Biden, the man who mistakenly thought he could outrun reality. And here we are, gentlemen, the Humane Labs. Holy, this place is enormous. How come this never crossed my desk when I was in office? Ah, Barack, that's because you didn't have the top secret clearance for the really cool stuff. That and, well, I'm just the better president. Always keen, always on the lookout. Oh, please! Remember, guys, as we walk in, we're crossing a point of no return. Life as we know it, about to get a whole lot stranger. Why is that? It's just a lab, right? Just a lab? Oh, Barack, you're in for a surprise. Inside these walls, 
The term unidentified flying object is just another Tuesday. Let's keep our eyes open and our wits about us. We're not just any visitors. We're presidential monster hunters now. Remember, whatever we find in there, we face it together. Democracy in action, facing the unknown. Holy cow, what is this or what are these? Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Biden, why did you shoot them, bro? Those were innocent people, man. Relax, Barry, if it were you, what would you do, bro? I got disgusted, that's all. I can't believe I'm saying this, but let's do this for science, for curiosity, and because, frankly, I don't have anything better to do today. Buckle up. I've been dodging political potholes since before Trump here started his reality TV career, so this is no big deal. Just make sure we're back by dinner. I have a very important tweet to send out. Yeah, of course, about this place. Donald, the only tweet you'll be sending out is an SOS if we don't focus on this mission. Let's not forget the real enemy here, illegal and evil experiments. We're like the Avengers, but with less spandex and more Medicare plans. If we're the Avengers, I'm obviously Thor. Have you seen these hands? They're practically Mjolnir. Donald, let's stick to reality. Where the closest you've come to Thor is a bad hair day. Am I dreaming, or are those baseball bats just levitating here? If you're dreaming, Joe, then we're all in the same dream. That's not exactly how I imagine my post-presidency adventures. I've seen a lot of things, many, many things. But floating bats, that's new. Holy, what in the name of Delaware is that? Is this a nightmare? Because if it is, I want out. What's there? Joe, what did you find? Don't look back, Barack. Trust me, you don't want to see this. What's that? That's not going to make America great again. I'll tell you that much. Well, I've seen some strange things in my time, but this, this is on a whole new level. Today's going to be a long day, isn't it? I've built buildings taller than this lab, but nothing inside them has ever shocked me like this. If I knew this was what retirement looked like, I might have stayed in real estate. Fellas, we knew this job wasn't going to be easy. But look on the bright side. At least we're not sitting through another budget meeting. Let's keep moving. Who knows what else we'll find in this fun house? You know, when I said we should stick together, I didn't think it would involve defying gravity. What do you think? Should we turn back? There's still time for a nice, normal round of golf. And admit defeat? Never. Besides, imagine the ratings this will get. No, we press on. But let's be clear, if I find a floating golf club, I'm taking it as a sign. Gentlemen, we didn't come this far to be scared off by a couple of bats. If we can handle a press conference, we can handle this. Besides, think of the story. And if we run into any ghosts, I'll negotiate with them. I'm very good at negotiations, the best. Everyone says so. Folks, I have a feeling this building has a lot more surprises up its sleeve. We're in for quite the tour. You know, Joe, when I imagined life after the presidency, I thought about writing books, giving speeches, not dodging otherworldly creatures in secret labs. And I thought running a country was tough. This place is like one of my boardrooms on steroids, except here the stakes are a bit more existential. Everybody freeze, hands in the air. You, yes, you two in the white coats. You're behind all this, aren't you? Speak up, who's your boss? What's going on here? Joe, let's not turn this into an episode of Cops. We're not here to beat the answers out of them. Remember, we're here to uncover the truth, not to intimidate. Let's try to keep a level head, even if things get weird. Weird? Barack, we're way past weird. But Joe, next time you want to interrogate someone, maybe let's not start with the swinging. You're a president, not a boxer. Bro, I used to be the captain of the high school boxing team, bro. What are you saying? Sleepy Joe, hold on a second. I thought you mentioned this was a government-sponsored lab. Are we saying there's a rogue element at play here? Something doesn't add up. No, no, Barack. This goes deeper than just government sponsorship. There's someone pulling the strings, someone turning science into a nightmare. And I'm telling you, I'm going to find out who. Well, if we're pointing fingers, I wouldn't look any further than your administration, Joe. Seems like the kind of oversight that happens when you're too busy changing the decor in the Oval Office. Whoa, these guys just scared the heck out of me. What's with the creepy scientist convention? This is bizarre. Do you think they've been hypnotized or something? They're not reacting at all. Maybe they tried one of their experiments on themselves and it backfired. Talk about being too smart for your own good. Look at their lab coats. They're stained with blood. This isn't just some experiment gone wrong. Something very serious happened here. This is more than just a simple lab mishap. We need to figure out what happened here. These scientists, if we can even call them that now, are key to understanding the bigger picture. Well, if they're not going to talk, maybe we can find some clues around here. There's got to be something that explains what turned them into, whatever this is. Keep your eyes open for any logs or data. There has to be a record of what they were working on. It might give us some insight into what caused this. And when we find out who's responsible, they're going to wish they were standing here, silent and still, with the rest of their science club. Yeah, this isn't right. All this madness has to be stopped for heaven's sake. 
Now, what is this? Just when I thought we'd seen it all, the weird just keeps on getting weirder. Guys, come on, check out. What's that? What in the world? Are we sure we didn't take a wrong turn into an Egyptian tomb? They look human, wrapped up like mummies. But what's the deal with the floating axes? It's like a bad horror movie prop. Ah, uh, it moved. Did you see that? It actually moved. I saw it. Joe, what did you do? We don't even know what we're dealing with here. I, I didn't think it would. Just shoot it before it decides to give us a closer look at those axes. Come on, Joe. Shoot it. Shoot the other one. Don't let it get any closer. Is it even affected? What does it take to stop these things? I never signed up for mummy warfare. This is insane. What was that? What are we dealing with here? Whatever it is, it's clear we're way out of our depth. This lab is hiding secrets that are beyond our wildest imaginations. And I thought the worst thing I'd ever have to face was the press. This place, it's a nightmare factory. This all thanks to the Biden administration. Donald, this isn't the time for your baseless accusations. We're in the middle of a crisis here and you're politicizing it. This lab, these experiments, they're not a recent development. Let's not turn this into a political debate. What we need is to stay focused. If there's someone behind this, we need facts, not conjecture. We've got enough on our plate without turning on each other. Facts? I agree. But let's not pretend like we're all innocent here. These kinds of- Shut up. Fat face? What's that noise? Oh no, look out, Joe. Oh shit. Looks like these mad scientists are back to their senses, and now they are after us. Yeah, because Trump here with his hell of a mouth couldn't shut up. Now we have blown our cover. Come on, guys. Shoot at these mad scientists, bro. I never thought I'd have to fight off a Nobel Prize rally. This is not the scientific debate I envisioned when I talked about engaging with the scientific community. Aim for the legs. I've dealt with angry contractors, but this is ridiculous. These guys need a serious lesson in negotiation. You know, I always wanted bipartisan support, but this is not what I had in mind. Take that, you overzealous lab coat. Science is about discovery, not about turning into a zombie workforce. Can someone remind them of the ethics committee? Look at this. They're like the worst kind of audience. No appreciation for my tremendous skills. It's like a town hall meeting gone wrong. Very wrong. Joe, I think your diplomacy might need a rain check. Barack, when they said fight the power, I don't think this is what they had in mind. But hey, at least we're engaging with the electorate. I've had tough crowds before, but this is something else. You're fired, you're all fired. If I had known, I would have brought my own you're fired t-shirts, like literally. Well, that was educational. I'll never look at a science fair the same way again. Let's just say, next time I advocate for STEM, I'll add a disclaimer. No scientists were harmed or turned hostile in the making of this policy. And I thought the boardroom was cutthroat. This takes competitive spirit to a whole new level. This lab has to be shut down when I become president again this year. Then I'll reopen it and buy it as my own investment. Trump Labs sounds prestigious, doesn't it? So that you can start your own illegal experiments? Not on my watch, bro. That's exactly why I won't give you a chance to be president again. We need fewer mad scientists, not more. Last 2016 election, you and Obama said I wouldn't be president, and I proved you wrong. Just wait for this coming election, the sequel is always Gentlemen, bigger. while the idea of Trump Labs is certainly intriguing, let's remember we're currently navigating a real-life horror story. Maybe we can put the campaign speeches and business ventures on hold until we're not in danger of becoming the next experiment. Besides, Donald, think of the health and safety inspections. You really want to deal with OSHA on a regular basis. Health and safety? I'll just hire the best people. The very best. Ah, yes. The best people. Because that worked out so well with your cabinet. Look, let's focus on getting out of here alive. There'll be plenty of time to argue politics and business ethics when we're not in a mad lab. What the hell are these? Their outfit? It's weird, almost like clowns. Oh shoot, I think we just angered every being in this lab and they are out to get us. This is not a drill, folks. Let's face them head on. These guys might be invisible, but they're not invincible. Keep your eyes peeled and shoot where they were last seen. Invisible or not, we've got to outsmart them. Use their last known positions and watch for any disturbances in the air. It's like a high-stakes game of Marco Polo. If I wanted invisible enemies, I would have stayed in politics. Keep shooting, and maybe we'll hit something. Remember, we're a tough crowd to scare, even by clown standards. Wow, we've seen some really wild stuff today, haven't we? I think it's about time we find the exit and get out of this damn place. This lab is just too much. You're right, Joe. This place is like a haunted house. I agree with both of you. This lab has taken science too far. It's one thing to try to learn new things and make the world better, but it's another thing to create scary creatures like we've seen today. We should respect nature, not try to change it into something it's not. Wait a minute, do you guys see that? Please tell me my eyes are playing tricks on oh, me. Oh no, not again. Those are the levitating baseball bats, and this time they seem less stationary. 
Joe, think you can hit a home run? What the hell? Live baseball bats? If I make it out of here, I'm hiring one as my new security officer. All right, you floating freaks of nature, it's time to play ball. Joe, what do you mean by that? You know, Joe, you are such a scumbag and bozo. I know you can throw a baseball at them and play with them. No, you orange head banana fat lizard, I meant this, bro. Joe, since when did you start carrying Molotov cocktails? Remind me to never check your golf bag. Impressive throw, Joe. I might have to reconsider my security team. Let's keep moving. Who knows what else this place has in store for us? Floating bats, clown mutants. It's like a bad trip down memory lane. Just another day in the SCP labs. I'm starting to miss the Oval Office. At least there, the only things flying at me were paper airplanes. And I thought running a country was tough. This place is a whole new level of crazy. Let's find that exit before the next act of this circus begins. Uh, boys, I think we've just hit the final boss level of the mutants. What in the world is that? Is that thing crippled or blind? Defeated by a mastermind in a wheelchair? Not on my watch. There's a first time for everything, but it's not today. Enough is enough. I said I'm tired of this. Grasping an RPG with a determined glare, he adds, time to use the Obaminator. Joe, aim for the left. Those guns are coming in hot. And the right. Don't forget the ones on the right. This is like the worst game of whack-a-mole ever. I bet this was the brains of the operation, the boss controlling this whole place. Looks like we've just made America safe again, one mutant at a time. We faced down everything this lab threw at us. Mutants, scientists gone rogue, levitating bats. I'd say we're more than qualified for the Avengers at this point. The Avengers, huh? I like the sound of that, but let's agree. If they call us up, we're leaving the mutant labs to Thor and Iron Man. I think we've had our fill of science gone wrong. Well, gentlemen, it looks like we've conquered the lab of mutants and mad scientists. What's next for our intrepid trio? I say we grab some burgers. Saving the world works up an appetite, and I know a place. I right, let's go. I'm starving. Stepping outside my house today is something I never planned to do. Trump, whatever you called me for, better be worth it, or I'm going to crush your bones into pieces. Do you have to start the day being a chaotic fellow? Okay, why don't you take a guess? And if you get it right, I would give you an exclusive membership to the Trump team. It's Trump 2024, baby. I need everyone on my side. I have been pondering about this. If an orange is called an orange because it is orange, why isn't a banana called a yellow? Think about it, guys. Hey, Joe, we've got a shout out request here. Someone named KDD9508 wants some attention. Oh, really? What did they say? They mentioned that our videos have been helping them out during a tough time. Their dad recently passed away, and our content seems to be a source of comfort. That's heavy. DD9508, I'm genuinely sorry to hear about your loss. Losing a loved one is never easy, and I can't imagine how hard it must be for your family. Yeah, DD9508, I'm not good with the mushy stuff, but I appreciate you tuning in. We're here to provide some distraction and laughs. If we can make your day a bit brighter, that's a win for us. Absolutely. We're sending positive vibes your way, KDD9508. Thanks for being part of our community. Now, here's the deal. If you love our content, smash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. It's a Trump order. And here's a question. Tell us your interesting activities in the comments. I promise, Sleepy Joe, it is too early in the day for me to witness your madness. Just take your pills and get back to being an average person. Although we all know you are not, but try. No one has the time for your fruit discovery today. I think I am the only one asking honest questions. How is the world supposed to move forward this way? I am just one man. I do not fucking care about the Trump team or whatever, but let me guess. You are trying to do some good for the American people, say some donations maybe, or want us to try that new restaurant you talked about. Finally, someone is joining the train. Humanity wins. Do not tell me you think I'm joining you in the whole Ukraine thing that you did. You just are joking, and Obama, you are nowhere close to being right. I have a life outside of politics and food. Well, I have a life outside having to wait for centuries to hear what you have to say. Sorry about that, guys. Hope your heads are still on your necks. Die alone if you want, Trump. Do not fuck me with you. Say this shit already. I'm getting impatient. What the hell are we doing here? And the plane? Are we going to Maldives? Oh, shit. Why did you not tell me earlier? I didn't come with anything. Why would I choose you of everybody on planet Earth to go to the Maldives with? You think too highly of yourself, Sleepy Joe. You are not what you think you are. Who are we waiting for? All right, boys, it is open. Let us go right in because it is skydiving time. Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime, gentlemen. Who? What do you mean skydiving time? Are you insane? Now you know how much I hate heights. Tell me you are joking. 
Trump, did you wake up this morning and think, oh, this is the perfect day and way to kill them? Don't be fucking ridiculous. First off, this is not a joke. Secondly, do not be scared, guys. This is one of the things that make you age ideally. Obama, this is for you. The old man can't be changed. I think he knows that already. How the hell did you even get access to this plane, Trump? Did you use a gun? What are you not telling us? It's called the Trump effect, Obama-rama. I'll be having a master class to teach you some of these things. I am sure you would be more than glad to learn. I want to believe you are a pro in this thing because I won't forgive you if anything happens to me. The world won't forgive you either. I am the president. Nothing must happen to me. At this point, I do not care about your forgiveness. Plus, I would do the world an excellent service. Do you know that? Tell me, how the hell did you think of this? When did you learn to skydive? Well, Baraki, I realized running businesses and politics isn't enough to hold the Trump brand. So one day, I looked right to the sky, saw the birds, and asked myself, why can't I conquer that too? I took it upon myself to learn that shit and decided to bring my boys to try it along with me. Skydiving is fun. You have to forget you are in the sky and not imagine that the worst could happen. We are going to do this together. I promise it's going to be an experience of a lifetime. What the f***ing is this crazy fat ass fellow saying? How is that even possible? You can't be in the sky with no aid or a professional close to you and not imagine the worst. You're trying to kill us. Shut up. You are a chinless wonder. This should be the perfect opportunity to prove yourself to the world and show how great you are, even though we know it's a lie. But no, you are constantly whining like a stray cat. I shouldn't have bothered bringing you along, talking about killing you. Trust me, if I wanted to do that, it would be a clean job. I'm not as stupid as you are. Somebody help me. Help, he's trying to kill me. Get me out of here. Stop being a drama queen, Sleepy Joe. How the hell is anybody supposed to hear you? There are no neighbors. We're in the fucking air, in case you don't know. Better sit still and stop wasting your time. The demented old man is the definition of a lost cause. It would be best not to waste your breath explaining anything to him. Obama, you are supposed to be on my side here. If anything happens to you, how would you reach Michelle from the other side? Science and technology have made everything possible. I'm pretty sure we'll find a way around that. There is no need to worry. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. What the f Trump? I should have listened to the people who warned me about you. They were right. Baraki. If you got that warning from this sick man, I am sorry to tell you, but you have been listening to a runaway psychiatric patient. You know what it means. And if it's from others, let me also tell you that they have been looking for a way to ruin my political career. But it is not just working. Please do not take their words seriously. I'm going to hold those words a little bit close to my heart, but if anything goes wrong, I will stop at nothing to make you be used for barbecue. Mark my words. Is that it? Do you trust him just like that? Baraki, you are supposed to be smarter than this. I will make sure you get smarter too by sending you flying through the window right now. Better f shut it. I have lived long enough to know you make empty threats. I'm going to remind you of this conversation. Things better not go south. I still have to brace up. I can never trust you. No one should ever take that risk. All right, guys. Let us show the world we are men of action, except one who is not. He knows himself. Well, the plan is to jump out of the plane, holding hands together. I don't know, Trump, but this is scary. How can we do this? I cannot skydive. You are not even a professional. We could die, and this is me being serious about this. Robot, I do not think you were listening when I said I wanted to conquer the world with my skydiving skill. Chill, man, I got you on this. Let us go on this adventure and feel the adrenaline rush. I do not think that is what I want to feel right now. Let us get this over with. Look at the fucking clouds. How do I jump out of an airplane for fuck's sake? You skydivers are crazy, and I must say it as it is. You're about to be a skydiver too, you know. When you jump out at first, it feels scary, but later you get used to it. It is all part of the experience. I do not want to get used to something like this. Trust me, you will. As I said, it is part of the experience. I am pumped to conquer the skies. Call me Lord of the Skies. Where the hell are you, Trump? The plane is about to fucking crash. I got out already. Thought you two followed me. Where are you guys? What do you mean you thought we followed you? Were we not supposed to hold hands and jump out together? You are a fucking idiot. I am sorry, guys. I guess I was too carried away. Just get a parachute and jump out too. It is not that hard. 
We can't find anyone here. Where the hell is it? Oh, fuck. Uh, guys, I think I took the last one. You would have to find a way to get out safely. Burn in hell, bloody nincompoop. Let's get out of here, Joey. We'll deal with that idiot later. I'm sorry, guys. Let's maintain. Guys, guys, Obama, Sleepy Joe, I hope you both aren't dead. Did you crash? Couldn't you use your ninja moves and jump out? No. Don't tell me you're finished. Are you fucking serious right now? This shouldn't be how you both leave this earth? It's so unfair. Are you trying to be funny right now? I hit my head on the most wicked surface on earth. I'm glad I survived this. You will get what's coming for you, Donald Trump. My legs hurt. I feel dizzy. Where are we? Buddies, I knew you would not die just like that. We have gone on more challenging adventures and missions for you to die just like that. Were you waiting for us to die in the most crazy way for you to drop your stupid condolences to our families? This pot-bellied man is out of his mind. First, get in the vehicle. We have another location to be. We can discuss all that on the way. Stealing this too? I want you on the wanted list. The elephant isn't even remorseful at all. Anyway, I need to get out of here. Please take me home. Voila, here we are. Another baby for another adventure. I know what my home looks like, and I can tell this is not mine. Trumpty Dumpty, what are you up to again? He just mentioned adventure, Sleepy Joe. This motherfucker has other skydiving plans in his head. I say we tie him up. Come on in, guys. There's still a lot to do. Moron, you still haven't explained what happened the last time. Whatever happened to holding hands together, stupid dick, fucking explain. You must understand that shit happens sometimes. Let's not take the fun away from it. What stupid fun are you talking about? You had a problem with my bicycle racing, and now you say this is fun? By the time he's done with us, the headlines tomorrow will read, Former President Barack Obama and President Biden failed at their attempt to skydive and landed in a coma. Well, I know you are both stronger than that. Can't you see how much you've gotten better? Jumping from that height? Wow, that's awesome. We'll need those for our missions, you know. You should thank me as well. You are trying hard to delve away from the real issue. You are a stupid crook, Trumpty Dumpty. Nah, I'm the one helping you to conquer the world. Fuck you and you're conquering the world. Now take me home. I need to see my wife and probably narrate my bad experience today to her. You can also tell her about bad experiences like the shark adventure and other crazy missions we've handled. Wouldn't that be nice, Baraki? Fuck. You're right. She doesn't know about that yet. Still, could you take me back? I do not want to be in the same space as you. I could punch right in the face. My head hurt from that crazy hit. I think my brain is out of position. You caused this, Trump. Now I would have to go to the hospital. I fucking hate hospitals. One thing I'm not going to let you do is lie to everyone's faces. You have no brain, Sleepy Joe. So, how can there be a shift in an empty place? Care to explain? You are a dimwit, and I promise, once we get out of here, I am going to beat your ass so much that you'll go into a coma. Ha 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 ha! I believe you're trying to be ironic. Look at me, then get a good mirror and look at yourself. Who's more likely to fall into a coma first? Why don't you land the plane and let's find that out quickly. You will be surprised at the turnout of things when you wake up in 2025 after missing the general elections. That has been your plan all these while, Sleepy Joe? You are such a dumbass. I can tell you that for free. You must think that is how life works. Well, I do not care who is waking up next year or who is not. Get me out of this stupid air. I feel sick already. Well, we will take one last jump and everyone can go home peacefully after a pleasant experience. What the heck? Are you crazy? I am not doing that. No way I am joining you in this second stupid experience. You are going to do that yourself. Count me out. You have gone nuts, Trumpty Dumpty. I think nobody is bold enough to tell you. Well, I can tell you that for free. You better stop this joke right this minute, Trump. Remember, try not to think you are in the air. Free your mind. Enjoy the experience. You are a fucking joker. Are you ready, guys? Shall we? I fucking hate you, Donald Trump. You are going to get what is coming for you, I promise. Hating me is part of the experience. You are going to be happy after. Let us feel it all. Obama-rama, how are you feeling? I am mad that I did not kiss Michelle my final goodbye in case anything happens. Trumpty Dumpty, I assure you, even out of this world, I'm going to haunt you till you get to your grave. Come on, Obama. It would not hurt if you admit you are enjoying this. Stop being dishonest to yourself. Being dishonest? Stop being stupid, Trump. It is not funny. From being a skydiver to being a swimmer, isn't this perfect? Can this day get any worse? What are you saying? This is the best day of my life, and I'm sure you low-key enjoyed it all. Where are you guys? Trying to stay alive, stupid human monster. Sincerely hoping I do not get eaten by the shark today. Every day cannot be your lucky day. Ha 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 ha! 
It is good to see you both alive and sound. 